All right, so in this video, I'll just be going over electric supercharges on uh, Stats Matters 1.1. This update is currently on test server, and it likely won't go live for quite a while because they still have a lot of stuff to adjust and test. Um, so yeah, I'll just start off by going into the loadout to show you what I'll be using to build supercharge quickly. In this case, it'll be static push. For ice, it was another power, but for electric, it's static uh, push. Each power will have one of these supercharge generators. I think, I think they'll only have one. I'm pretty sure, but there might they might add more. Um, yeah, but for electric, it's static push, and also you gain supercharge through doing weapon attacks and powers. So that'll also help build supercharge uh, fairly fast. So I'll just go in here. I'm in Typhon's Monster Invasion. I'll just hit this add. And then do static push. For whatever reason, it didn't. I don't know if it activated that um, its power generation. Sometimes it doesn't do it right off the bat. I think you have to like uh, do something in order to make it work right off the bat. I'm not sure what it is, but um, it should work this time. Yeah, so it worked that time. I now have half a supercharge. I think I'll build my way to a full super so I can do. Uh, two supercharges right off the, like I can show two supercharges without having to waste time building another super after the first one um, yeah so I'll just build some super as far as an electric DPS loadout like I, I really don't know one that's uh, like it, it's difficult because I can't really say I have one because it just seems like I need a troll. Like I have a decent idea of what it's gonna look like, um, but I I cannot say like this would be a definitive electric DPS loadout. So this isn't what that this isn't a video for how to DPS with electric. I'm just showing you the the um the supercharges. So uh yeah, I should have a full super in one more hit. There it is and. Now I'll kill, just kill these ads real quick, and I mean these ads are dying fairly fast. I think they reduce the health of everything because I'm 173 CR and I'm killing these 186 ads pretty quick. But then again, I think the ads in Typhon were always squishy. So let me go into my loadout and I'll put on, uh, I think one more super or pretty sure there's only two that actually deal damage. And I'll even go as far as testing the supers for uh, electric healing, so I'll do that as well. Uh, so I already have Megavolt, so I'll have Circuit Breaker. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know why I have Speed Drain. I think I specced into it by accident. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it as far as the damage supers for electric. Um, okay, I'll start off with Megavolt. I want to go to a more populated area so I can hit a bunch of ads with it. Or I can just tap all these ads. <laughs> They'll probably kill me. Yeah, they hit hard. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, I'll hit Megavolt now. So, as you can see, it just dots them. And the dot's pretty good. Like, it's a pretty good dot. It lasts a decent amount of time. And I would say... In my opinion, it might be the way to go because for some reason I'm not seeing the boost that Circuit Breaker gives you. It's supposed to give you a damage boost. Maybe I was glitching, but um, I wasn't seeing it in the buffs tab. So I'm going to let them kill me so I can uh, respawn and then just come back because I really don't want to drink a soda. The cool thing about Arc Lightning is it heals you in DPS rolls. So that's going to help you out if you're running like solos and duels and stuff. Because I find that it's like the best way to electrify enemies because it'll jump from target to target and it can electrify like a whole bunch of uh, targets in like two seconds. So it'll probably be what people use to electrify targets so they can get more damage out of uh, Tesla Ball if that's what you're going to use and more damage out of uh, the cloud or I think it's called Electrocute yet. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and use Circuit Breaker. Actually, I shouldn't even... Yeah, because it's not going to target, like... It's not going to, like, burst damage them. It's going to be a uh, boost to damage that should be shown in the buffs tab, but it won't be. 
considering I looked earlier and it wouldn't show. Okay, so okay, so it does show. It shows breakout and then it says 50% damage bonus for 12 seconds. Go uh I think I'll build it one more time cuz this time I'm going to hit it and then look at my stats and see if anything changes there. Because um I seen people type earlier that it's it gives you precision or I saw one person type and I shouldn't say people. I saw one person type it but then I hit it and I didn't see any precision damage gained. So maybe uh the buff itself is just to like maybe it's like an invisible buff it doesn't show in stats but it's there. I don't know. So let's build some super real quick. See? I think maybe I have to hit a power before I hit static push in order to get it to work. I had a lot of trouble getting um, Mentals uh, Supercharged Builder to work. But I'm guessing maybe you have to hit a power before using it or else it won't work. Okay, so there we have a full super. Okay, now I'll hit Circuit Breaker. Oh, no, no, I shouldn't do that. I'll go into stats. I'll check my might. It's uh, 9,900. I'll check my precision. It's 10,022. All right. Circuit breaker. 10,022. 9,900. This has to be an invisible buff then because it does show here, but it doesn't show in your stats. So I can, I can just assume that I guess it works. And it doesn't last too long. Like the buff is already gone. And I hit. So I guess the buff itself will last six seconds. You can gauge if that's uh, useful enough for you. Um, personally, to me, uh, Circuit Breaker, not Circuit Breaker, but uh, Mega Volt seems better. But uh, I'm sure there's people that are going to figure out how to make Circuit Breaker work for them. Um, so yeah, that's it for DPS supercharges. Oh my gosh, just died. Wow. Anyway, yeah, that's it for DPS supercharges. Now I'll do, uh, I think I'll make a separate video uh, for healer supercharges. I'll start off with like showing you the supers and then I'll show you what the healer powers themselves, what they're capable of. Yeah, so I'll see you in the, in the next video. But first, let me make sure those are the only DPS supers for electric. I'm pretty sure they are. That's healer. I already did that. That's DPS. That's healer. Um, let's galvanize. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Looks like that's it as far as DPS supers for electric. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be a healer. Just an overall look at electric healing and seeing if um all the heals still uh are as effective as they are on live game. So I'll see you then.